What's up, solo sportsters? I'm here on the iconic grounds of the US Open here inside the indoor tennis facility where you see a lot of the top guys practice, but you probably won't be let in here most of the time. So enjoy it while it lasts. We're gonna dive into the new review of the Yonex VCore 98 2023. The Yonex VCore 98 2023 is 305 grams, which equates to 10.8 ounces unstrung, has a swing weight of 322, and is 6 points head light with a balance point at 12.8 inches. Just like last year's, it's a 98 square inch head size, 27 inches long, has a 16 by 19 string pattern, and a variable beam width of 23 millimeters by 23 millimeters by 21 millimeters. It comes equipped with a Yonex synthetic grip. The 98 is only exceeded by the 95 with respect to weight in the V-Core line. While it took me a while to tame the awesome power and spin offered by this racket, once I did, I really enjoyed this racket from the baseline. Thanks to Yonex's isometric head shape, which is designed to increase the sweet spot of a racket by about 7%, this 98 offers a similar feel to 100 square inch rackets offered by other brands without sacrificing precision and stability normally afforded to a smaller head size. My forehands were kicking like a mule, and I felt like I could generate plenty of pace on my backhand as well. Even when stretched wide, I greatly appreciated the widening of the hoop at the 10 and 2 o'clock positions as I was able to turn defense into offense with ease. For the seventh generation of the V-Core line, Yonex has made some great changes to the frames beyond the already beloved vibration dampening mesh and the isometric head shape. In order to cut down on string to grommet friction, they have infused silicon oil into the top and bottom grommets, providing quicker flex and string snapback. Additionally, they thinned out the beams to make the racket more aerodynamic and increase the width of the hoop of the racket at 10 and 2 o'clock to elevate and enlarge the sweet spot. Finally, they tweaked the throat of the racket to minimize power loss, resulting in an increased energy transfer from the racket into the ball. Once we started playing some points, this racket absolutely came alive in my hands. I had no problem generating awesome amounts of spin and pace on my serve without even working that hard. Even on the returns all day, I don't think I missed a single one. Maneuvering this racket into position was a breeze, especially thanks to the slightly thinner beam, I could punish my opponent with heavy ground strokes and execute the coup de grace whenever a short ball came my way. Even when I was forced to play defense, I had no issues bringing the point back to level terms, whether it was with a sliced backhand or a heavy looping topspin forehand. Up at net, just like in all other parts of the court, this racket packed a punch. I had no problems getting easy access to depth and pace even when I had to generate it myself or when my body weight was falling backward. 
I felt really connected to each shot, and I couldn't help but notice the comfort provided by the vibration dampening mesh, a stretchy material found in the handle of the racket that filters out all the unwanted vibrations. While I may not be looking to come to net, nor choose this racket as my weapon of choice for a drop shot challenge, it more than held its own up at net. This racket scored highly in our solo sports review. As a spin-centric frame, this racket is catered towards players who have a more modern game style and whippier strokes. The ideal player for this racket has an NTRP rating of 4.0 or higher, can generate their own pace, and hits with a variety of spins. Whether you play with a one-handed backhand like Shapovalov or a two-handed backhand, this racket will work well for your game. Similar rackets include the Battle Lab Pure Aero VS, the Dunlop SX300 Tour, and the Head Extreme Tour. I highly recommend you give this racket a try the next time you're looking to upgrade your equipment. All right, Solo Sportsers, thanks for joining us on our review of the new V-Core 98 2023. If you have any questions, always feel free to comment down below. We love seeing the comments, we love answering them. You can also check out our other videos here or here for other reviews, stringing techniques, all the stuff from all the top guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to hit that bell to get all the notifications.